Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. And today we are going to show you all how to use chords and make chord progressions in your MPC Studio software. Now, before we begin the tutorial, I would like to prompt everybody to please sign up for our email newsletter. It would really be a big help to us so we can let you know when we have new tutorials posted and so we can, you know, email you miscellaneous tips and tricks if you want us to. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Now, to make chords in the MPC Studio, Renaissance or Touch, it's really fairly simple. All you have to do is load up your plugin like I've done right now. I have Contact loaded and I have a piano inside of Contact loaded inside of Contact 5. So if I want to make a chord, if I click my MPC Studio right now, all it'll play is notes. So you'll hear this. And while it's cool that I can play individual notes, it's kind of really hard to make chords because then I have to hit three pads at the same time. So instead of doing, I now have to do, see, and that's a lot harder. Now, if you want to make chords and only have to use one pad at a time, all you have to do is go to your hardware and hit the pad assign button. If you look at the screen to my bottom right, I'll show you just how to do that. Now notice the screen changed and now I can see the scale. I can see what notes are playing. I can switch everything from a one, three, five to a one, three, five, seven, if I want to. So if I hit a pad now, it'll sound a lot like this. See? Now, let's say I want to change things up. I want to change the scale. I don't want C major. I want D harmonic minor. And I want it to play a one, three, five chord. Well, I can do all that from the top of the screen of my device, like so. All right, now I've switched the scale and everything. Let's see how it sounds. I think I like how that sounds. So let's record it and finish it up. And let's play it. All right. And although it's not the best sounding chord prog progression, you pretty much get the trick, right? So from there, you can go ahead and fool with it, do what you want to do, and learn more as you go along. Once again, that's Drum Machine Addicts back again with the tutorial. We'll see you all next week. Peace.